So as you know, the bearded butchers take their commercial equipment very seriously. Whether you're a small scale, a mid scale, or a large scale snack stick operation, the Fusion Tech snack stick cutter is absolutely hands down one of the best options that you can have. Prior to having a machine like this, we had to cut everything by hand. So this will condense hours of work, hours of labor down into a machine that can be loaded and you almost can't keep up with the machine. Loaded and all of your snack sticks are gonna fall out, cut to perfect lengths. Now this particular model can do sizes all the way down to nearly a half an inch to whatever you set your knives. It only takes seconds to change your knives. It's operated by air. So the whole time you're in here, you're getting a smooth, quiet operation and you're replacing a number of employees that otherwise would have knives in their hands. Now there's jigs and things you can set up to make the hand cutting easier, but there is simply no better option for cutting snack sticks from lengths as short as half an inch to whatever full length, the width of this machine that you want. And they come out perfectly cut as fast as you can load this machine, you're gonna get snack sticks out of it. We highly recommend the Fusion Tech snack stick cutter if you're a snack stick commercial meat operation. The moment has arrived where it all started right in here in our processing room at White Feather Meats from that very first cell phone video that we put on YouTube to 1 million subscribers. We have the Creator Award in front of us and we wouldn't be where we're at if it wasn't for each and every one of you guys. You ready to take a peek? I'm ready. There it is. Right from YouTube. You want to do the honors? I would love to. Let's see what it looks like. So YouTube told us that we, we could expect something special that they did for no other creator. I can't wait to see what we've got in here. Here it is. Ooh, got a little letter, note. All right, let's get to the real stuff right here. Wow. It's meat. Look at that. It's a meat play button. How in the world did they pull that one off? A play button There made out is of meat? no way. Look, look, it looks just, it's exactly like the YouTube. I, they must have a butcher on staff at, there's no way. That looks like A5 to me. That is incredible. What cut is that, Seth? That's definitely beef. That looks like top round. I'm going to say top round with those, the way those muscle fibers go. And that, that's got to be Japanese A5. Have you ever seen anything like this? They sent the first ever customized creator play button to the bearded butchers. Made of meat. Made out of meat. How cool is that? We only have one. We got to cook it up. We have to. Um, well, they must have known about the spices and everything. It just goes hand in hand. I mean, meat and spices go together. So I'm thinking some butter, some black. What do you think? Guys, we're, we're punking you. <laughs> we <laughs> did receive our gold play button, but we actually cut the meat. You get to see exactly how that play button was made. If you want to see the video on how it's made, check it out, it's right here. A play button made of meat. This is what it looks like. You've seen it. You want to see how we made it? Let's go. We're going to use a round portion of beef and I'm going to fabricate out the top round out of this. So the first thing we have to do is get this shank off of here. We're going to pull the H bone, starting with getting the oyster steak out. So we get that removed. Let's take our knife and run it around this H bone. This round consists of three muscles internally, top, bottom, and eye. So now that we have the H bone out of there, I did leave the 
tri-tip and the round tip on here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull that off and then we'll dig into those other primals. Now that that round tip's been removed off of there, we'll just clean it up a little bit. Gonna pull our femur bone. Like I mentioned, we're going for that top round. Pull the heel out of here. Now we just want to find these natural seams. Applying a little bit of downward pressure as we do it. This is the top round. The eye of round lies right here. This is the bottom today. That's what we're gonna to use to make our play button. So I can officially say that I've never made a play button out of meat. I've got a pattern, just give it a whirl. So everything that, this, the scraps that come off this top round will either further process into jerky or will grind into ground beef. But we thought it'd be worth using a top round to make a play button because we thought it was a cool idea. So being a butcher, there's a certain amount of artistry that goes into it. So let's see how we do. Got that part cleaned up. Let's just go ahead and remove the cap. going to square it up. I think what I'm going to do, the grains are going this way, so I'm just going to take this top portion off. We can always make it thinner if we wish, but we can't go back and put it back on. So I'm just going to clean it up a little bit getting some of those veins out of there and a little bit of that fat tissue. Once we get our shape down, we can always take a little bit off the top, but we want it to be fairly, fairly square, but we want to round the edges a little bit. What do you think, Spencer? I think it's looking pretty good. Starting to take shape. Mm -hmm. How are we looking, Seth? I think it's looking good. What do you think? I think it looks awesome. Anything I can help out with, just eating it. Well, we are going to eat it, so you can help with that here in a little bit. Just kind of see where I'm going with the shape. Yeah. So, got a little surprise for you. I wonder. I have Japanese A5 Wagyu strip steak. And this is what we're going to use for the actual button in the center. We're going to cut this out and we're gonna insert it into the center of this play button. Keeping in mind that whatever we have left over from this is gonna be lunch. What if you screw up, do you wanna set, do you wanna do that on like one end or the other? So no, I had it cut, so it was right here. Okay, you got it. Just don't mess it up. I think so. I don't wanna micromanage, but I do wanna micromanage. craft time at White Feather Meats. Definitely a first for me. 
Looks, looks like a play button to me. Looks I'm pretty a, cool, I'm doesn't it? I'm tempted to let out another whistle. There's my pattern. Keep it about the same thickness. Let's see how it fits. I think we have a meat play button, folks. Sort of like giving a haircut. Eventually, you just got to stop. Into the bag, our play button goes. Would you like it turned? Yes, please. I'm doing the tough jobs here, if you haven't noticed. Look at that. Here is the real play button. We haven't seen it yet. I get to do the honors. One million subscribers. Good. We should have a gold play button in here. Let's see what we've got. Okay, open her up. Ooh. It's gold. If you took one step for each subscriber you have, do you know how far that would get you? For starters, over 13 times around the perimeter of Beijing, or 14 times around Paris, or 15 times around New York. That's because you now have over 1 million subscribers. Susan, the CEO of YouTube, thank you. We have another card. Congratulations on your subscriber milestone. We are honored to take part in recognizing your achievement and want your experience to be exceptional. This award was inspected and packaged with great care by Rick. Thanks, Susan. Thanks, Let's, Rick. Thank you. Let's get it out of the packaging. Look at that. Did you just look at it? Ooh, wee. Presented Man. to the Beard of Butchers for passing look one that, million. Look at that ugly guy. Hey, it, <laughs> it, it almost matches my beard color. Closer match to me than you. That is incredible. Right here, we're all started in the processing room at White Feather Meats from our very first cell phone video that we made for YouTube to one million subscribers. Started right there when I said, Hi folks. Guys. Seth, per Seth Perkins, Scott Perkins. Um, Seth's got a deer here he harvested, so we're gonna get started, show you guys how to cut it up. You can still see that original video. It was filmed on a cell phone. It, was, it, wasn't, e it wasn't even in horizontal, it was in vertical. And look at what it kicked off. And none of this would be possible if it wasn't for each and every one of you that has subscribed to our channel. We greatly appreciate that. Only thing left to do, is head for the grill. We're gonna hand this off to Jeremy and Josh. They're gonna take the play button from the cutting board to the grill. Here you go, fellas. Dun, 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 dun. All oh, yours. Hey, is that one? That's a one of a kind, one of one sent from YouTube. You know, no pressure. I did my <laughs> part, fellas. Now it's your turn. All right, let's go eat some uh, play button.
These boys, Jeremy and Josh, did a marvelous job Get in here, of cooking up. Pretty sure we're going to be the first creators to actually eat their play button. <laughs> so there was some discussion about who should slice, how should slice, whatever, and I told Seth, I'll take care of that. So Which, we're going to go ahead. This turned out way better than expected. The, I mean, trying not to pat myself on the back, well, but I think it looks, but I think it looks pretty it good. The cooking that these guys did, phenomenal. It just looks really cool. Does look phenomenal. So, um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and make a cut right down through the center of this sucker. After all that discussion, <laughs> <laughs> look at it shot Scott. at his face. <laughs> look Get them all. Get them all. This is not what Oh, we yeah, look at that. Well, you let me have the knife. That's no, the it wasn't what we happened. discussed at all. You nailed it, fellas. Those Good look, work. It looks amazing. Yeah. All right, we're going to do. Here's what I'm, I'm going to insist that we do, though. After all that foo for -ah, I'm going to cut a little chunk of the A5 Wagyu. And then I'm gonna slice off a nice little thin piece of the edge of this, and then you can. You gonna marry the two together? Yeah, you mm -hmm. have to put both in the in 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 the in the pie hole at the same time. Look at that smoke ring on there, and Spencer. You're gonna have to dig your fingers in and grab a bite. Yeah, we're gonna oh, get yeah. some. So here, let me set them up for you, okay, boys? There's one. There's one. There's one. There's one. There's one. Here we go. There's five of them there. The four boys and the cameraman. Alrighty. All right, go ahead. Grab I a hold took of Josh's. one. Josh's. <laughs> mm. mm. Wait, did I count wrong? Nope. Mm. <laughs> a play button never tasted so good in all my life. Never yeah. in a million years did I think I'd be eating a play button. See what I did there. Look at this. A million years, <laughs> million subscribers. I was thinking that this top round, it might, you know, it might be uh, a little tough, but it's really good. Mm. It's fantastic. So it's got great big beefy flavor. If you think about a London broil, this is basically a London broil cut. And as you can see, Scott's cutting this against the grain. He's slicing it real thin. So Josh and Jeremy, they cooked this on the on the big green egg and um, took it to what internal about 125 and. You could you could slice this and serve this at any any party oh, yeah. any oh, yeah, any dinner. I mean this this is it's incredible. Like Scott mentioned, we were worried about you know maybe it would be a little bit tough, but it, it's not at all. That's pretty simple. Delicious. Get in here. Get in here, there youngsters. You go. Get in get there, the youngsters. youngsters. In there, grab get in yourself. There, get some. A little. Get over here, Logan. Come over and get some. Grab yourself a piece. So there you have it. <clears throat> we cooked and ate. A meat play button. And everybody else on the team is going to get to share this too because we're going to take it in and divvy it out. Everybody's going to take it home for dinner. Delicious it's cut incredible. of meat. Meat makes everything better. Of course, the spices. What a way to celebrate 1 million subscribers. Hey, Sean! <laughs> hey, I got, some, I got a bite of steak for you. JD Farmer! I thought it was one of them. TikTok, he JD he Farmer 70. <laughs> he kept Look him up. He kept That's walking. JD Farmer 70 or JD 70 Farmer. You're going to find JD Sean. JD Farmer on. 70. JD Farmer 70. Check him out on TikTok. He's, he's busy farming over here. Let's see if we can get him over. Check us out on TikTok too. Hey, is that steak good? <laughs> you pick it up. You take a bite out of it. <laughs> I'm pleasantly surprised that's, by that. That's, that's phenomenal. phenomenal. Yeah. There you go, Sean. Yeah, there, Sean. He's been working on farm equipment all day. What do we got? Got some. You got to get both got pieces. Got some round. Look, there's some wagyu right there. You put it with it. That's good. Delicious, huh? Look at the juices running out of there. Mama. Cameo appearance by JD Farmer 70. That's JD Farmer 70 on TikTok. If you missed it, give him a follow. Get You'll enjoy. Twenty thousand followers. That's right. You're gonna enjoy his content. Make sure to tag him. All right, Spencer. Let's wrap it up. Once again, Beard of Butchers on YouTube. We made, cooked, seasoned, ate a creator play button right here on the Beard of Butchers YouTube channel. Hope you enjoyed the video. We had some fun making it. We'll see you next time. Now. Right here. He let's, always says something after I say that. Let's go for 2 million. 20. 
Thanks for all the followers. Thousand million. Appreciate you guys. Until next time, see ya.